Hello. Hello. Oh, Max, we're running out of paper. We're running out. Oh, crikey. We are on our way to the station in uh, Exeter. It's Ryan's 24 hour karaoke challenge for children in mm. need, and uh, Radio 2 have asked us to be a part of it. So we're yeah. on the Sarah Cox show later. So we're meeting the boys there. We're the boys there. We're going to do a big now. sing at Radio 2. Yeah, we've also run out of paper. Yeah, Here. Yeah. <laughs> it's our train, Max. It's our train. It's our train. Going. Let's have a lot of fun on the train to, to London. Woo! Is my show American? No. <laughs> Rupert, what are you most looking forward to today? I'm really looking forward to singing Take On Me with Ryland Clark. So I'm dead. You yeah. are, you're dead. And I'm male. You are a male Sing. dead singer, man. Am I George Michael? No. <laughs> is mine in Gavin and Stacey? No. no. <laughs> Who else is dead? <laughs> David Bowie. Yeah. yeah. I think Reese has lost the will to live now. I don't. <laughs> he's crying. Oh, <laughs> he's crying on the vlog. <laughs> so, uh, what are you most looking forward to, Aiden, when we get to London? Um, meeting Skype girls. Um, One of our worries today is that Jacob is ill. I'm very ill. <laughs> yeah, I have some pretty severe tonsillitis. Um, I went to the walk-in centre this morning, got myself some penicillin, and I'm pretty sure antibiotics work instantly, so I think I'll be okay by this evening. Cheers. Yeah, it's really painful. Um, <laughs> so, you know, if we can tune in to BBC Radio 2 if you like semitone, and if you don't, I'll probably, like, shatter my tonsils, so, either way. So, we have arrived at Waterloo. Uh, we're now getting the tube all the way uh, to the BBC and then we're going to do all the singing. So Sadiq, how are you feeling about our appearance on Radio 2? Pretty excited, thanks. <laughs> He's pumped. He's really pumped. We are at the BBC and uh, we're just walking through to get to the studios of BBC Radio 2. Sorry. BBC Radio 2. There we go. We've come into the Radio 2 studios, we've gone up the stairs a few times, wow. downstairs a few times, and upstairs again. And now we're finally in a room that we can rehearse in. We're in a room. For the big performance. So <laughs> We're just about to go in. This is the last track before we walk in. Christ. And the same take on me. Uh, so, this is the place from Martin that I have. Ryan's really tall as well, so I thought maybe we can make him an honorary member of Semitone for the duration of our time there. And it'll be good fun. We're going to get him to wear this later. We're going to put it on his shoulders. Uh, and it's going to, yes, exactly. We're going to make him wear it, hopefully. So hopefully you see him wear it like the burgundy blazer. Very exciting. One word to describe how you're feeling? Ecstatic. Yes. 
conference. Exciting. Ah. So we've just found out that um, Tom, who is lactose intolerant, what did you have in prep? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Mac and cheese. Um, <laughs> we're going on in what? So that puts a whole new meaning on we are pooing ourselves. Yeah. When is in here? And we're already behind because we didn't know we'd have a kid. Okay, so we have just come off from our first song that was we did take on me with Ryland and we got him to wear the blazer. Yeah. So he had he was an honorary member of Semi Toned. Um, and we did that in the studio with Sarah and then we sung uh, the travel jingle, the bed for that, which was a lot of fun. BBC Radio 2 and we're now, now out here just waiting while um, Ryland sings uh, Happy by Pharrell, I think. And then uh, we're going to go back in uh, for another of Sarah's jingles. So, um, how are we feeling, boys? Yeah. Good. I'm feeling good. <laughs> if you can decipher anything from that, that's how we're feeling. The 540 Fun and Fabulous Thing featuring the fantastic Ryland and Roy. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -da -ba Amazing. <laughs> okay, we're scouting for scouting for girls. Yeah, let's go and have a scout. Right, let's go and have a scout. They're just over there. She's so lovely. She's so lovely. She's so lovely. She's so lovely. Life's a happy song. When there's someone by your side to sing. Life's a happy song. When there's someone by your side to sing. Life's a happy song. When there's someone by your side to sing along. We just finished our sitting at BBC Radio 2. How are we feeling about it? How did it go? Yeah, yeah. yeah. good. good. Sarah was lovely. Sarah Cox was lovely. Ryland was lovely. Oh, Who else? Uh, we met Roy from Scouting for Girls. He was also a very nice chap. Was he lovely? Uh, was he? Dermot O'Leary in passing. That smells really good. Dermot O'Leary smells good. Really good. So if there's anything to come out today, it's that Dermot O'Leary. Oh. Good smelling man. Important things um, after you've done a performance is uh, finding where the nearest weather spoon is, and that's what we're doing. Tom, what was your favourite part of performing on Radio 2? Um, well, I didn't myself, that was a good thing. God's sake! <laughs> Spoons. 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 Oh yeah. We are in uh, Weatherspoons in Holborn and we are absolutely outraged by the prices here. Three ninety five. This is pint check. Pint check. Three ninety five for eight. By the Cosmo. Four forty five. Four sixty. Four sixty. Yeah. So uh, Oli Baker's had a fairly eventful day today because he's <laughs> left his jacket on the train. Yeah. Ordered his food to the wrong table <laughs> and then left his wallet in the pub. <laughs> and so, um, <laughs> not going well for We're just on our way uh, back to Waterloo Station to make our way back to Exeter. Sadly, our time at London City is over. But uh, we just saw the Shard over there. Uh, we're oh. having a nice discussion about whether we've been taking up the Shard. Have you been taking up the Shard, Ollie? Have you? Oh. Have been taking up, up the Shard? Well, who would have thought that? Who would have thought? I have not, unfortunately, been taking up the Shard. No, not Hopkins? Me. I have not. Have you been taking up the shard? I've not been taking up the shard. No, oh, Max, okay. you haven't. No, I, I actually you haven't. haven't. Right. Ollie is the only one here who's been Ollie up the has shard. been taking up the shard. You heard it here first. There you go. We're basically back in Exeter now on the train, and um, it's been a long one. It's been a long journey. So we've got all our lads, some of us working, some of us just chilling out, singing. Um, and then uh, Jacob's story. Meditating. <laughs> he is luggage. And like that, we are at the end of our Radio 2 journey.